So we're here at the Mobile World Congress 2019. My name is Mohammed Awad. I'm a VP of Marketing for the Infrastructure Business. And um, so there's been some new launches uh, from ARM recently. Uh, what are these new chipsets? So last week we announced our uh, N1 and E1 Neoverse platforms. Uh, N1 is really all about the compute plane and managing all of that compute that's happening from the edge of the network all the way into the core data center. Uh, it's it's uh, highly performant, scales really well, and has got a, um, a uh, we expect to have a very broad footprint from, from uh, enabling diverse solutions from edge of the network all the way in. The E1 platform is really all about the data plane. Arm has a leadership position in the data plane today within the infrastructure, and this is really about extending that leadership position as we look to onboard the data from a trillion uh, intelligent devices and just kind of managing, managing that data as it moves through. It's got about two and a half times the uh, throughput efficiency of, of, uh, of the existing uh, cores which are servicing that, that infrastructure. And the existing cores of which one? Uh, in this case, we're talking about the A5X family. A53 is one of one of our more popular uh, designs in that in that space, but A55 as well. Uh, so, um, this networking. What is special about this processor? It's not just like a server processor. It's not like a client-side processor. How is it optimized for networking? Yeah. So the the E1 platform is really optimized for networking in a couple of different ways. Primarily, it's designed to shuffle bits back and forth, so it's a very efficient design. So if you think about things like a 5G base station where you got to live within a 35 watt power budget, the, the E1 is designed to do, to do that and move those bits uh, uh, very efficiently. It's a multi-threaded design as well, so it's specifically architected to, uh, to, to move bits around. And uh, the other one, you're you talking about comparing it to now, when, with the N1 platform, I'm, I'm referring back to um, Cosmos platform, which was A72 based. Um, A72 based. Uh, A72. Yeah. So our, our Cosmos platform was A72 based. This N1 platform is about on on spec based benchmarks about 60% better performance than that. But if you look at specific workloads, things like Nginx, Memcached, Java based benchmarks, we're seeing significantly better than that. So Nginx, one of the top uh, web-based uh, front ends, we're seeing about two and a half times the improvement over an A72. For th things like Memcached, we're seeing about two and a half times performance over the Cosmos platform. And then when you talk about uh, things like um, Java, we're seeing about 1.7 times. Is it the, uh, on par with kind of like the Cortex A75, but re-optimized somehow, or? Uh, no, w back, in, uh, back in October, what we did was we actually um, bifurcated our roadmap. So our Neoverse cores are really designed for infrastructure, so it shares some of the same um, microarchitectural um, implementations as A76, but then it's really been optimized and, and uh, uh, for the infrastructure and is reflected in some of the other features that we've added, things like RAS support and some of the other performance enhancements that we put in place. All right, uh, and the other one is the smaller one? The, the E1 platform? Yeah, so you're talking about a bigger one and a smaller one? Or no, we're really talking about the E1 platform, which is really data plane, and the N1 platform is really about the compute plane. And is infrastructure, the businesses are building the 5G future and all that stuff? And when I say infrastructure, really what I'm talking about are all of the devices that exist from the edge of the network. Think, think the, uh, the, the wireless base station area where, where ARM has historically been very strong all the way through to that core data center and HPC. So, so that's kind of what I mean when I say infrastructure. And if you look at that, that uh, those devices, ARM actually has architectural preference within that area with about 27% market share, which makes us the market share leader. 